Hey guys, so the last video was raking and bailing hay the old school way. Well, this is kind of the new school way. These are my uh, uncles and cousins. My uncle Boyd is over there in a CX100 McCormick and a Coon rotary rake. Then my cousin Ben, he's in a 5100M and a 550M John Deere Bailey. Those rotary rakes like that are really good for making big fluffy windrows. Now this is a lot different than my hay baler. My baler would really struggle to take a windrow this big, but this baler is just trucking right along with it. baler works is you've got belts that spin around on the back and it basically spins the belt so much that it starts to form a bell inside and it has like a spring tension that keeps tension on the belt as it grows it pretty much just wraps hay around it and it wraps it around it so much that it forms a bell size with a correct bell size then it has uh, twine arms that go across and basically just wrap it full of twine Now up here at my house, they stack all their hay in that Quonset hut out there. It's just basically a big metal dome building on concrete footers. And the method that they use for hauling hay here a lot of times is they've got a three-point hitch, gooseneck hitch, that goes on the back of the tractor. And uh, you'll see as he comes in here, he's gonna set his trailer down, and the trailer's got the jack stands down. And uh, he'll go ahead and he'll load it, and then he'll back right under it and pick it back up. Uh, now this works really good as long as you have all your hay close by the house, but if you were having to haul it a long way, you wouldn't, really wouldn't want to haul it with a tractor, you'd rather use a truck. He's using a John Deere 6220 that my Uncle Bill bought brand new. It's got about probably close to 4,000 hours on it now. And uh, then that's my Uncle Bill's Gator Gooseneck trailer. So he's gonna pick a good spot. Uh, he's going to go ahead and set it down. That tractor has been a very, very good tractor. I've even stacked a lot of hay with it. <laughs> and newer tractors, they've got something that's a really cool benefit. It's called shuttle shift. And what it is, is you can just go forward to reverse and you'll watch this if you pay attention to his left hand. He's not changing any other gear except doing that. That's called shuttle shift. It allows him to go forward or reverse without having to change any gear other than that. Same speed forward at same speed backwards. These dual tandem goosenecks are sweet too. 
Um, they've got two 10,000 pound axles under them. Anthony, cool dude with his sunglasses on. So he's moved his trailer to where all the bells are. And anytime you're driving a truck for somebody or you're hauling hay on yourself, there's no use in leaving the trailer way up here and having to go constantly back and forth. Always go where the hay is. Got one he's gonna pick up out there. Yeah, I'll go out there with you. I'm on the sail for you. That's a good load. I was telling them that it's, it's a good thing that we're close by. I probably wouldn't recommend doing this a long distance. No, I would want to carry it pretty far. It is. These hitches are really handy, though. I like them. Yeah, I wouldn't want to take it too far. I'm thinking that the end reason is good. I wouldn't care to take it that far. I'm just going to go like this to the end reason. I wouldn't want to go through that. This is Anthony's go-to job whenever they put up hay. He's always the stacker. This building's kind of built on the style of a hoop barn, like a tarp barn, but this definitely has a lot more uh, longevity. Tarps don't go bad on one of these. This is my Uncle Bill's new toy. Big new McCormick. It's an X6430, I think. It's a brute. Tractor came out of Wisconsin. Come here, check on my Uncle Bill. He's actually doing kind of a little bit of trimming. It's an awkward place here. Can't really get into no good place to mow or bale or rake. So kind of just mow it off every now and again. 
That tractor was bought new by my Uncle Boyd. I don't even think it's busted 2,000 hours yet. That tractor is a honey. Yeah, I brought Uncle Bill's new tractor out here to check on him. Very high tech. Thanks for following along with this video, guys. I'm gonna leave this tractor out here to make sure Uncle Bill has a way to get back to wherever he needs to go. And uh, like I said, I just thought I'd do this video to kind of show you a difference of what my operation is compared to these boys. Uh, one thing that I've learned in life, though, is don't ever get discouraged because your operation may be smaller than somebody else's or that theirs may be bigger than yours. Like I said, it's all about starting out, and these guys have been at it for a long time. So don't ever get discouraged whenever you start out with something and you look at somebody else and see them have nicer stuff. It's all about a process. This stuff just doesn't happen overnight. It's something you've got to work for, but you've got to take that first step to go ahead and start. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos lately. I got some new internet at the house, so it'll be, make things a lot easier to upload videos. I hope you all enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe.